Hey, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? Killer family business. It's important to celebrate excellence, overcoming adversity, and most of all, family. But sometimes it's easy to be embarrassed by those you love the most. Don't ever take your family for granted or you'll realize how important they truly are when it's far too late. Savannah wasn't looking forward to the annual Juneteenth family reunion. She just graduated high school and almost everyone in the family had come through for that. She loved them all dearly, but most of the family was just plain weird, especially when they were all together. Once a year was enough. What made things even weirder was this year's venue, an old abandoned carnival with broken rides that the family had strung up with lights and other decorations to make it seem a little less creepy. Cost effective or no, even with the decorations, the place looked like the set of a horror movie. Spellbound by the eerie venue, she never noticed the hands reaching for her from behind. Huge arms wrapped around her from behind, startling her as they squeezed tight. Give us a hug, Savannah, her great aunt Bliss said as she squeezed Savannah again. In a low voice, she then asked, Are you still joining the family business after college? Heart racing, Savannah awkwardly replied, Maybe, uh, sure. She still wasn't sure what the business was or what her role there would be. With a look of approval, great aunt Bliss kissed her forehead and released her back into the sea of cousins, uncles, aunties, and family friends that had been around so long, they were considered family too. Even though her great aunt Bliss was a familiar face, not everyone there was, but they always seemed to know who Savannah was. Along with that, something about this spooky place made her feel like she was in danger. She nearly left the reunion when her twin cousins, Virgil and Dante, found her next. They were several years older than Savannah and had joined the family business when they'd graduated college. She tried to press them for details, but they just smiled strangely and told her she would find out soon enough. Annoyed at her cousins, she went to pay her respects to Grandpa Rick at the grill before she called it an early night. At these parties, Poppy never stopped grilling. He never stopped smiling either, because this was his favorite time of year, which is why Savannah was so worried when she saw the concerned look on his face. Have you seen your mama? She never did say hi to me, Poppy said grimly. Savannah realized she hadn't seen her mother all day either. That wasn't normal. Her mom was always the life of the party and the center of attention. She looked for great aunt Bliss to see if she'd seen her mother, but she couldn't find her either. In fact, the whole reunion suddenly had fewer and fewer people. Savannah assumed they left the midway to look at some of the dilapidated attractions, but as she walked the aisles, there was no one around. And when she returned to the midway, everyone was gone. There was empty silence as Savannah slowly began to panic. She felt dizzy, just as kaleidoscope music started playing. Her breath froze in her throat. Slowly, she turned around to find the source of the music at the far end of the midway. A beaten up carousel with flickering lights slowly spun backwards. As she approached the old weathered merry-go-round, it began to pick up speed. The wooden horses on their poles clattered while rusty metal jesters creaked from the ride's too fast motion. Painted on the center support were portraits of creepy clowns. But as everything turned faster, those portraits soon looked like people howling in agony. The broken machine spun faster and faster, and the music kept pace until it became a high-pitched scream. Finally, the whole thing exploded. Splintered pieces flew towards her like shrapnel. Instinctively, Savannah dived to the ground barely dodging the deadly shards. She looked up to see a lone figure where the carousel had once stood. It was a clown. The scariest clown that Savannah had ever seen. 
Its starkly painted face looked more like bleached, cracked skin. With sunken, beady red eyes, it stared hungrily at her. Just before its mouth smiled wide, too wide, with yellow, rotten teeth. The clown's suit was in tatters, except for a shiny coat that bore the same howling portraits of the carousel. The demonic clown chuckled, and its deep voice rasped. My name is Old Grin. Would you like to see a magic trick? (laughs) Then the evil thing started stepping towards her. A herky-jerky movement where every time she blinked, it was suddenly closer, moving quickly to her along the midway. Savannah jumped to her feet to run as fast as she could, a scream burning in her throat. And that's when figures around her stepped out of the shadows. Her mom, Great Aunt Bliss, Poppy. The whole family emerged from all the aisles onto the midway. They were staring at her, each holding a silver candle. Old Grin, the clown, stopped its jerky charge forward. The demonic thing was surrounded. Savannah's mother smiled at her and said, This is the family business. We've come to be called the gatekeepers. Great Aunt Bliss held out an ornate silver-capped glass bottle of holy water to Savannah and said, For generations, our family has protected this world from the evil ones from below and beyond. It's necessary but very dangerous work. Will you join the family business? Suddenly, her whole beautiful, weird, and strange family made sense to her. Savannah smiled. Taking the bottle, she threw it like a grenade at the monster. The glass bottle shattered into the demonic clown's face. Glass shards split Old Grin's smile to ribbons as the holy water set it ablaze in heaven-sent flames. For 200 years, this evil entity had possessed different amusement rides, turning laughter into screams. Recently, it had lured wayward souls to that carousel, harvesting them wearing them like a coat draped on its stinking flesh. Weakened, it wailed in pain as the heat melted its features off. The silhouettes of the gatekeepers surrounded it. Blessed weapons in hand, their chants grew louder and louder as one by one, thousands of imprisoned souls departed from its demonic grasp. As Old Grin burned brighter, its life force grew dimmer. And as the final soul ascended, Old Grin roared, You've won nothing. There are many more like me. (laughs) Its rant cut short as Great Aunt Bliss collapsed his head with her walking cane. The demonic presence fell back into the dark world it had come from, joining the monster sent there before it. We know, Great Aunt Bliss wearily replied. We know. Maybe you're like me and either do a lot of protective styles and frequent hair color, or maybe you just go a little too long between washes. Either way, our hair can go through a lot of experimentation and sometimes outright neglect. But it's never too late to hit the reset button with a great detox shampoo. And a good choice for you could be the clarifying detox shampoo from Way. I'm looking forward to receiving my Way detox shampoo soon, especially since it also includes apple cider vinegar and keratin. That sounds like that could be a great hair reset for me since my scalp can get irritated from product buildup. Way was created by celebrity hairstylist Jen Atkin to create the first socially connected hair care brand. So go ahead and check out their website. They have a full collection of cruelty, sulfate, and paraben-free hair care body and fragrance products. When you're ready to undo some damage, hit the reset button with the Way Detox Shampoo. Go to T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com and use code SCARY to get 15% off your entire purchase. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I dot com, code SCARY. I'm fortunate to not have had many issues with my skin, besides it being a giant oil slick on my face but I like to be prepared for the future. So I'm starting preventative prescription treatments with our new sponsor, Apostrophe. Apostrophe is a prescription skincare company that offers medications clinically proven to help clear acne or other skincare goals, like reducing redness, wrinkles, and even dark spots. 
I've received my topical prescription from my licensed dermatologist, along with detailed instructions. I like that it's been so easy. And now I'm at the start of my skincare journey for preventative treatment for acne, wrinkles, and fine lines. We have a special deal for our audience. Save $15 off your first visit with a board-certified dermatologist at apostrophe.com slash scary when you use our code SCARY. This code is only available to our listeners. To get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash scary and click begin visit. Then use our code SCARY at sign up and you'll get $15 off your dermatology visit. That's A-P-O-S-T-R-O-P-H-E D dot com slash scary and use that code SCARY to get your dermatology visit and save $15. And we thank Apostrophe for sponsoring the podcast. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at something scary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings, sweet dreams.